I lived next door to the fire station. I had the Amish Red Barn. And I have personally had nothing against that. I had people in the paper talk about criticizing the store and all that. But let's face it, anybody can donate two, six acres to the county and let the county do whatever they want. It. To me, that's a miracle. And, and like I said, I, I was going to wait till other people speak, but since they put my name on the second one, then I had to speak first. So I'm not against this dollar store because the six acres they're going to donate to the county and the county is going to do something with the fire station. And we, the fire station needs room. We had a comprehensive land use plan adopted in October of 2008. This is it. We spent $110,000 with the company that helped us put together, and I don't think that was your dollars. I think that was tax dollars. It was adopted, and then it was put away. And if we use that plan that we all worked on, there were very many focus groups, surveys. I was one of the stakeholders that was interviewed about this. It was all put together because of the Georgia Land Act. Every municipality has to have a comprehensive land use plan. On this map, the land in question of the Dollar General, which is not really a question, I'm not delusional, I know it's gonna be built. That land is in rural preservation. On this map, it's in rural preservation. And you know, that's an area that uh, is a historic area uh, uh, not only White County, but Hapsham County. And, you know, a lot of people have concerns about what we're bringing to the area aesthetically and, and how we bring it and, you know, what's, what kind of value it's going to add to the historic value of that trail that leads up to 197 and, you know, really the car that I, that I live on. And had I known it, I might not have bought the land, but. And an ugly building on Highway 17 would damage the character and, and integrity of the place, and by extension, we, the people. I don't know enough about the situation to say, well, you must do this right now, you must rescind their building permit. I don't think you do that. I do think it is time to use this as a wake up call to consider design guidelines for the historic rural portions of the county, to pull together a design commission, to consider designating a local historic district which would have the authority to regulate design decisions. To me, pairing of, of rights to use one's land is associated with responsible usage that does not undermine <coughs> the investments of the many who make this area home. Commercial development is entirely dependent on publicly financed infrastructure, i.e. roads, and it should therefore consider the community's vision for their area and tailor its built work accordingly. I would propose to this commission that they form and provide support for a task force to look at the boundaries of creation of a district of some meaning that can regulate development in this area and make new development add to the community, not take away. 